If you are like me, one day you started taking photos of your friends and then suddenly you realized that this photography thing could actually be a business and you're realizing very quickly you might need more than a Facebook page. It is definitely great to start with social media, but now it's time to get a legitimate website as your online storefront. In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips for making your first photography website. I'm Caitlin Workman and I'm here to empower you and encourage you on your photography journey. I'm excited to share these three tips with you so that you are prepared to make your first photography website to start showcasing your work and booking clients. The first tip is to start by purchasing a domain. Buying a domain is basically like purchasing the website's name. For example, I own the domain CaitlinWorkmanPhotography.com and no one else can own that same name. Purchasing a domain is usually very affordable. Knowing the difference between a domain and your hosting site and all the things is honestly so confusing, but just know you need to start here. I started with Bluehost and had a terrible experience. <laughs> Some great options are GoDaddy and Google Domains. The second tip is to choose a website builder. There are multiple different options, including Wix and Squarespace and ShowIt. We have tried multiple options and we love ShowIt. It is important to me to use companies that we respect as a whole, especially we when we are sharing with other people like you. And we have been so impressed with their customer service and just their heart for people. I'm such a grandma with technology. I am old and my grandmother. And they've always helped me through their chat options very quickly and they've always helped me with anything I was struggling with. You can also drag and drop photos and different things. So it makes it super easy to build your own site to start without having to code and handle all of those complicated things. For us, simple is best and show it makes it so simple. Before we get into the third tip, I want to give you a free gift just for watching. In my free posing guide, I'll share tips for building confidence with your couples, a sample posing flow, and even a little behind the scenes clip to help you pose your couples with confidence at your next session. Check out that in the link below. The third tip is to use a template. As you progress in your photography journey, you might want to invest in a designer for your website, but I know that's not possible or necessary in the beginning of your journey. There are a lot of incredible template options to get you started at an affordable rate. We personally love our current Davy and Krista template and they have a lot of beautiful designs. As much as I love decorating my home, I do not have the eye for web design and purchasing a template was the best and easiest decision. If you're interested in a coaching session with me, click the link below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm cheering you on.